And I thought sometimes we was just slow getting the ball up and uh, getting into our offense. You know, we got to move quicker. Uh, they are a team that uh, apply pressure, but I thought both teams seemed like their legs were a little heavy and uh, they weren't applying the, uh, the pressure they normally uh, do. But you know, I thought it was just times we was fighting the shot clock uh, because we were, uh, you know, bringing the ball up slowly. Jeff Teague uh, seemed to get to the free throw line 12 times a night. He was real aggressive with the ball. Is that what you would like to see out of him uh, more? Well, I, I want our guys to be aggressive. What I wanted was more movement. Uh, we, you know, I think we're, we're pounding the ball a lot, and, um, you know, it should be a quick decision. If you have a, a, a quick drive, you, you take that. If not, uh, you move the ball and you get movement. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the, uh, both teams I thought had heavy legs, and what you want those guys to do is defend your first, second, possibly third option uh, in your offensive sets. And if when you do that, you're going to get open looks. Uh, we played in our first and second options a lot tonight. We didn't make them work defensively, and um, you know, therefore we were somewhat taking quick shots. Uh, you want to make teams to defend, get to your second, third options. Normally you'll have uh, pretty good looks there. Nate, what, what will it take to get your half-court offense going? Is it strictly a matter of time and familiarity, or are there other things you have in mind to make the half-court offense better? Well, again, it's, it's execution, and, uh, you know, it's just, you know, continuing to show and, and talk about the things that uh, – uh, you know, we need, which is movement. A lot of times it's, it's, it, we're, we're pounding the ball and we're not getting the ball reversed uh, to the weak side. You know, I think sometimes guys think they have a matchup and uh, we go into, uh, you know, quick pick and rolls, a lot of isolation plays. And uh, you want to, uh, you know, you, we call sets to get movement. Uh, but even that, you know, uh, you, can play, you can get into your second and third options. Uh, in your sets, and again, when you when you do that, uh, normally defenses they break down. You know, everybody's prepared for the first, maybe the second option, but your third and fourth options uh, normally are open. Do you feel like you have the size that you need around the basket? Like it seems like when Miles Turner is out of the game, you're kind of struggling. You know, you don't have a shot blocker, or rebounding or te- rebounds are tough to come by. You, you, are you comfortable with? Well, what they what teams you know last night in Philadelphia. Uh, uh, you know, their bigs could shoot the three. And uh, tonight uh, with Olenek, uh they were running our bigs around. And normally that matchup is Al Jefferson. And, you know, we, uh, you know, really tried to watch that matchup uh, and not have him out there when they had a spread five. Uh, we tried to match his minutes with Zella. We felt like we had a matchup there. And, um, you know, we tried to keep Miles and, and Lavoy Allen and uh, when Olenek. So, you know, of course, at the, you know, we, we lose length uh, when Miles go to the, uh, uh, to the bench. Uh, and also teams are going at uh, our fives uh, in that second unit. We, you know, our bigs are big guys, Lavoy and, and Al. And uh, teams are trying to run that group as well as uh, spread them out. Would you like – Miles played about 30 minutes. Is he capable of playing much more than that right now? Um, well, again, we, we're trying to look at – we're looking at matchups. Uh, you know, I thought uh, Al was in there. We uh, scored a couple buckets real quick when he got in there. He had somewhat of a rhythm going. That group, second group, had a rhythm going. And, um, you know, we were trying to uh, give our starters as much rest as we could uh, before, you know, putting them back. Nate, with the these last few minutes, do you want the ball more in Monte's hands? Is it, is it in Jeff's hands? Is it sort of the, based on the set that you call? How do you decipher who should initiate the we offense? Was, we were trying to take advantage of matchups. You know, whoever uh, Thomas was guarding, we wanted uh, that guy handling the ball. Uh, you know, Bradley is a really good defender as well as uh, um, smart. And, you know, a lot of times they try to uh, – put Isaiah on uh, a guard where they can try to rest him. Uh, so whoever was uh, Isaiah was guarding, we wanted to involve him in the pick and rolls. There's two turnovers, uh, Montes, and then 
there's a chance where the ball gets out to Miles. He, he looks to have a shot but hesitates, and then the, the ball is stripped from him. What did you yeah. notice there in those two turnovers? Is that just hesitation, or was that just good defense that, that well, the, uh, you know, Boston I, reacted to? That's, that's, you don't win games you know, uh, when you uh, don't make plays down the stretch. You know, you're turning the ball over or you have bad execution. Uh, you're not going to win games. You got to get stops. You got to make plays. I thought Miles uh, tried to step back for a three on that play. Uh, you know, take the shot that's there. That play was designed for him to catch and shoot. And uh, I thought he tried to step back to to shoot the three ball uh, on that play. And, um, you know, fumbled it, and we didn't get we didn't get anything out of that. Um, look, looking ahead, Monday, uh, Frank Vogel returns. Uh, I know you're obviously very close with him. You've met with him in the, the summer during the summer league. Um, how nice will it be for him to have his first game? And how do you think fans should or will react to, to seeing him in the field house? I think they react uh, positive to him. Uh, Frank did a great job when he was here, and um, you know, I think the fan base is uh, pretty supportive. Of him, you know, I think, I mean, should recognize and acknowledge uh, what he has done. Coach, when you put the starters back in late, you kept Lavoie out there with him. Uh, what was your rationale there? Why not put Thad back in with the starters? Yeah, we we was talking about that. You know, I was talking with our bench, and we just felt like that uh, uh, on Jarepko, uh Lavoie was doing a pretty good job being solid. They had 15 offensive boards. We wanted. Uh, our bigs in there, guys who could uh, to rebound the ball, and uh, you know that is that is uh, you know had a pretty good game going, and you know we uh, I kept talking about that uh, getting Thaddeus in, and we just felt like that matchup rebounding the ball uh, with Lavoy in the game with Miles uh, as well as Al uh, was a matchup for us. And going forward, are you acting as if PG will be back on Monday, or what's the timetable regarding I that? I really don't know. He was a game-time decision today, and um, he came in, and his ankle was swollen, and, uh, um, you know, he was a no-go. So we'll see tomorrow how he feels and, uh, you know, see if he's ready for Monday. Hopefully he's ready for Monday.